This is the tube tester I made. It looks like off the shelf product, but actually it's not. I used some parts from vintage test equipment, for instance, front panels, tube sockets, meters, and so on. Let's see what they are. On your left side, I used the parts from the utility tester, model 161, made by Accurate Instrument. This utility tester was a simple multimeter and tube filament tester used back in 1960s. My original plan was to modify it to the standalone emission tube tester. However, I found that the meter range of this utility tester is minimum 100 milliamperes, which doesn't fit to my tube tester. So I added another meter from the flyback transformer and yoke tester, model 944 made by Eco, whose scale is 50 microamperes, very sensitive meter. Next, let's see what the emission tester is. There are several different types of tube testers from many different manufacturers. The following two types of tube testers are very common. One is the emission tube tester. And the other is the mutual conductance tube tester. This is a simplified circuit of the emission test. The plates and grids are connected together to the 30 volt transformer. The tube now conducts as a half-wave rectifier, the total emission of the cathode being passed to a single anode, and out thought the meter circuit. A good tube, with the sensitivity of the meter properly adjusted, will have sufficient cathode emission to swing the meter needle into the good section of the scale. The meter of the emission tester is very similar to this. Basically it indicates just good or bad. There is no specific unit. Is it worth having an emission tube tester? Well, I would say, yes. I will give you an example. Imagine, these batteries are vacuum tubes. How do you know if batteries are good or bad without any tester? A drop test? No, it won't work. However, if you have a simple battery tester, it will do the job. You can say the same thing, for the emission tube tester. The emission tube tester is much less sophisticated than the mutual conductance tester, however, it's easy to use, and easy to operate. This is a schematic diagram of the tube tester I made. Basically, you can test the tubes, whose heater voltage is 1.5 volt, 3 volt, 6 volt, and 12 volt. You can test the rest of tubes by providing air voltages from the external terminals. The applied test voltage is 30 volt AC. 
I used three heater transformers from my junk box, connected them in series to make a 30 volt. One of them also supplies the heater voltage to the test tube. So make sure if this transformer can supply enough heater current of the test tubes. I used the 12 volt, 1 ampere transformer. The line voltage, and heater voltage, should be properly adjusted, otherwise affect the emission test current. However, in order to make this tube tester simple, no line voltage adjustment is provided in this tester. The potentiometer, VR, is 200 ohms, determines the amount of loading placed upon a tube under test. RS is the shunt resistor, which limits the maximum test current. Most of tube testers have a selector switch, called type, or range, to change the value of the shunt resistors, against type of tubes. However, my tube tester has currently just one range, which generally covers filament type tubes and cathode type tubes I want to test so far. The meter, it's a 50 microampere, and added the selector switch and shunt registers to measure the current, up to 30 milliamperes, for a tube tester, as well as standalone ammeter for other projects. Nine toggle switches on the left side are connected to each pin of the tube sockets. Let's see how to use this tube tester. The test tube is a pentode, 6AU6. The heater voltage is 6 volt. The heater pin selector switch is set to 3 and 4. The switch 1, 2, 5, and 6 should be turned upward, in other words, the plate side. And the switch 7, turns downward, connects to the cathode. The rest of switches, are in the neutral positions. The load potentiometer, sets to the 30. And, the meter scale sets to 10 milliampere position. Insert the tube into the socket. And then, the meter switch sets to the emission test mode. The needle stays in a good area. Each tube tester manufacturer created their own test data, and the test configuration is often significantly different, however, it's very useful to refer to those test data, from Heathkit, Ico, and Knight.